How you not day now? How you day? We go see for later, Bo. Don't be surprised. That was just another aspect of English that many people or some people might know of and some might not know of. Welcome to me, where we're talking about motivation, education and engaging. And the reason why I said that in that way was because we need to ask ourselves, are we speaking English or what are we actually saying? We are speaking English, but there are different aspects of it. And I think we need to be aware of that because sometimes we think, oh, because we went to school, uh, I've got a degree, I've done so many things, I can speak now, especially people from Africa, some parts of Africa, whereby we come to a country, we've got that degree, we assume that, okay, we speak well, but then you come into another country and they don't have a clue of what you're saying. They might fake it and say, mm, okay, I hear you, but are they hearing you? So I think it's very important to ask ourselves, am I speaking English? I think it's a good thing to think, you know, am I actually saying what the other person needs to hear? Does this person understand me? I'm saying this because communication is only as effective as the other person understands you. So yes, you might say, I've said it, why didn't he understand me? Why didn't she understand me? We really need to think that, are you speaking the language, the way that they know? It can happen in the corporate world. It can happen to our children. And I'm gonna be giving you some examples. It can happen wherever we go. Do we understand the lingua? Do we understand the, the, you know, what, what, what's the culture of that organization? So are we speaking English? I say this because sometimes, okay, is Margaret talking about the accent? I'm not talking about accents because you can have an accent, but your words are still understood. You are actually communicating. So the emphasis is on communication. So even when you speak in a way that the language is not as, she, as it should be, I think it's about communicating. And I don't think people should be pulled down to say, oh, because she spoke wrong English. I met um, one of a, an old friend of mine. Um, this was way back in Africa again. She, she, she was a teacher and they had a meeting, in the, a staff meeting, and they were asking for opinions. And she stood up to say, oh, um, can I suggest this? And then the head teacher just shut her down. And, you know, he lashed out at her and said, even her English is not even good. And I think that is so derogatory. And I know we live in a place by, whereby they're not saying anything about your English, but we need to know that they understand what you're saying. And that's what I'm em emphasizing. So there's nothing wrong. We speak Pidgin English, we speak uh, Creole uh, English, we speak different kinds of English. But the key thing is, does the other person understand? Do our children understand? Do the teachers understand? Do our colleagues understand? We really need to get the, so that we can integrate, so that we can get the best of what we need in a land. Um, there was a time whereby, you know, uh, my, my children, I think, I, it's only now, after so many years, I'm finding out that they make fun of me a lot because of some of the words I used to say. I think um, my daughter was telling me that, mommy, I just found out now that when you were saying medicine, you are talking about have taking tablets. What's medicines? You you are wrong. I said, okay, I didn't know that that was wrong. How do you pronounce ibuprofen? <laughs> how do you say that? I uh, know. And how do you say so? How do you say, how do you pronounce the word honest? Honest. How do you say these words? And because these children, they're in another culture, and then they grow up, but they understand us now. My son was saying, telling me one day, he said, you say. Um, we, we, we didn't know that you were saying sir when you meant when you were saying sir we know we say sir and then we're saying sir i said forgive us but now you understand us he said yes thank god that we understand you because we grew up in africa and we're african children so you know but these are things that if people get to know you they will understand you the reason another reason why i need to say this is i get people that come to do assessments in maths and english and um, they assume automatically when they do a test that they need to be at a certain level. They argue with you to say, I'm, I believe I want, I'm at a level two. But your test proves that you are not at level two. 
That's because you might be speaking it, but do you know the, the lingua that is needed? Do you comprehend enough? And that's why we encourage people that even though you can speak it, we now live in another place. We need to think about what do I need to get to where I need to? And if I need to read more, do I need to watch more? Do I need to listen more? There's some programs I had to watch on the TV to understand what they were saying so that, okay, when I'm now communicating, this is the culture. This is what they're saying in that place. It's not always about reading or going to a classroom because you can go to a classroom, and but you're not practicing it. You're not speaking it. So I want to encourage us as well that let's, let's expand our, horizons a bit more let's appreciate our language let's appreciate the english we speak when we're in our own community but when the other person or the other person we talk to you know might he might not understand it so when you're saying for example oh um i'm coming you're not coming but you're going that's what they understood so what do you mean another friend of mine she was she when she first started working her supervisor would say um could you, do you mind um, taking those boxes down there? But because the, the person said, do you mind? Her understanding was saying, oh, but I do mind. So I don't have to carry the boxes. So it's about that understanding. So it's the way language is used. There's a way people suggest things here. That, you know, instead of saying, oh, I want to support you. You might say, I want to make sure. But the way I, making sure sounds a bit much more controlling. So that now they've changed it to say, to support to ensure. So it's about looking at the language that is being used and how the English is being spoken. And, um, you know, I believe very, very much in the fact that because we live, we are we're in a multicultural society, the way we understand things is different. The way we speak English in our country is different. How do they speak it here? How can we communicate better? It's very, very crucial. So let's do that. I want to end with this. I came back to the country so many years ago and I did an interview to get back into college and um, one of the questions they asked me was, um, can you tell us about your experiences with the big lottery? Because I didn't understand what the law, I thought they were talking about lottery because back home, it, when you do lottery, that means you're gambling. So I thought that was what they were talking about. So you can, you can see where I'm coming from. So when they say big lottery, I thought it was, meanwhile, it's about a, a funding, a charity. So the, the big lottery is about, you know, um, getting money together, cha supporting charities, you know. But I just thought, oh, lottery, you're playing, you know, you're playing lottery. That's what I, I my, my understanding was so different. The same thing with trafficking, the word trafficking, we didn't understand it until recent times that trafficking actually means you're trading people. You're moving people from one place to the other, prostitution, young people. But then you say trafficking, what are, what's, what's trafficking now? Traffic, traffic light, are we talking about traffic light? So I'm talking about different ways that we speak that we might not necessarily understand, but we need to try to understand it. The same thing, I believe the solution to this is, can you clarify what you're telling me? For both parties, can you clarify what you're saying? Can I ask you again, what are you saying? So that we can understand and there'll be less confusion, less conflict and less misunderstanding. Thank you once again. Let's share, let's like and let's subscribe. Thank you for watching.